Now to political matters. The Labour Party stakeholders set up a transition committee in the B2 to reconcile aggrieved members and help organise an all-inclusive national convention with a view to forestalling leadership vacuum. The committee was, however, mandated to consult widely and to organise the national convention within the next three months. A spokesperson of the Peter Obi presidential campaign, Dr. Tanko Yunusa, is sued for peace as the party undertakes another leadership journey. The stakeholders' meeting was convened by the NLC under the auspices of its political commission, acting in its capacity as the registered trustee of the Labour Party to devise ways of resolving the leadership conflict in the parts. Here's the rest of the story. The Labour Party has been turned into a vehicle for the sole purpose of contesting elections. This has turned the Labour Party into a mercantile party like other reactionary political parties. The Nigerian Labour Congress, through her political commission, has made several efforts to realign successive leadership of the Labour Party to the lane of fidelity to the ideology of the party. Moral rectitude, financial probity, and mass mobilization from conscientization of Nigerian workers. We must take decisions that will convince Nigerians that the big lion is fully astir and ready to roll the dreams of a dead Nigeria to reality. Portion to this, we expect that this meeting should set up a transition committee for the purpose of conducting an all-inclusive and expansive national convention of the Labour Party. Spokesperson of the Peter Obi Presidential Campaign Council, Dr. Yunusa Tanko, highlighted the efforts made by Peter Obi in a bid to restore peace in the party. He noted that the party leader has called for a peaceful resolution by all contending parties. Also, committees should be set up to look into all legal issues in the party. Ladies and gentlemen, you are aware that His Excellency has been in every issue, has intervened in every subject that has to do with peaceful reconciliation in the Labour Party. This he has done not by saying it, he practicalized it with action. His Excellency said, I should say here, that he is calling for peace and a peaceful resolution, resolution of all contending issues. It is the only way you have peace that you can be able to even vie for any position whatsoever. There should be two committees. You agree with me that there are various litigation hanging, hanging in and out, known and unknown, on the Labour Party, and that will not give you a straight and easy passageway to get to the destination of reclaiming Nigeria. The struggle to keep Labour Party straight in straight line has been on for a very, very long time. But perhaps maybe the only difference in the past had been majorly there were insiders. It was, there were insiders that we had to contend with. That was why maybe we were not making it so elaborate. I'm sure if we had done the right thing right from the, uh, the setting, by now, it will have been a different world game. At the end of the day, what we ought to do is to go and carry out an all-inclusive and expansive world congresses, local government congresses, up to state, and then it will culminate into national convention. In light of the recommendations, other stakeholders of the party aired their grievances with the Aburi-led leadership of the party. They, however, reaffirmed their continued support for the party. Going forward, I think we have learned our lessons. If I go ask them, like I said, I'm not in APC. You can call me almost a founding member of the PDP as far back as 1998, when Chief Anani was alive. I was a student member, founding member of the PDP in 1998. So even if you want to accuse me of being another party member, you can accuse me of being a... However, I left the PDP in 2016 for Labour Party when I came to venture into the presidential race. 
the P20 Peter Obi came in 2019 and I had to step down for him to continue. So I don't work for any opposition. I have worked more than any other person in Nigeria for the Labour Party. And the records are there. So and I'm back to continue that because I've already frustrated the party's effort. First of all, I want to thank and commend the NLC and the Board of Trustees of Labour Party for taking the bull by the horn to organize an all-inclusive and expansive stakeholders meeting today. We know that it has not been easy for the party, a party that wrestled power in the just concluded presidential election and other elections in the country. Labour Party is a party that belongs to all Nigerian workers. So they saw the trend. The party was going by the character of few individuals who are poised in making sure that the controversy in Labour Party is not resolved. We have said enough is enough. We cannot continue to have a Labour Party where leaders will be transactional. We beat our chest and say that we cannot allow Labour Party to be selling nomination form and interest form 30 million, 25 million. That is not the reason for this party. Among the resolutions reached at the meeting held in Abuja were the constitution of a transition committee of the party with a mandate to organize a congress and an all-inclusive national convention. Adeniyi Francis, reporting for Kaftan News, Abuja.